in the beginning when people would kind of hit you with this, like, ah, I thought you were this, but it, it was amazing. Did you appreciate that honesty or would it, would it mess with you a little bit? Well, it always messed with me. Yeah. Um, I told Albert Brooks one time and, and, uh, he's a genius. He was on the tonight show and, uh, he came out and he said, he did something with some, like something on the desk. It was like a little trick or did something and Carson laughed. And he says, thank God that's not your whole act. Um, Cause something happened to the card. Right, right. And Albert Brooks says to Johnny Carson, he says, God, just imagine, imagine booking Carrot Top and um, American Airlines loses his luggage. He hasn't, he doesn't have shit. <laughs> right. So I'm watching this on, and I remember exactly where I was. I was on a tour. We just finished yeah. doing this big, like, arena gig yeah. at a college, and it just killed. And we were watching it on TV on the bus. And I was like, what the fuck? And I was so mad. And I was so mad because of what he said was true. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, if the Rolling Stones luggage was lost, they wouldn't have a fucking act. Yeah, of course. So... It made no sense that he's ripping on me. Yeah. Course, even Carrot Top lost his luggage. He was fucked. Well, so if the Rolling Stones or Nirvana or anyone else. Yeah, lost or, their guitars. You know, yeah. Anybody. Yeah. If, the, if the airlines loses your shit, you're probably fucked too. But yeah. he just singled me out. So like that, that was bullshit. So then I get to meet him at Gary Shandling's funeral. And all the places, there he is. And yeah. I said, I walked up to him. I said, I got a beef with you. And you know, Al Brooks is like, oh my God, I got to get a video of this. Carrot Top has a beef with me. <laughs> I can't wait to hear. And I said, no, it's just you, you, you. And I, so I tell him the story and he goes, oh my God, I am the, I am the worst person in the planet. I did do that. I did say that. And you are correct. And I said, I know I'm correct. That's what I'm telling you. Like it, everyone could, you know, if you lost your luggage, you wouldn't have anything. And he says, I'm sorry. Can, I, can we hug it out? And he hate me hugging. He says, I'm And then, you know, we we're best friends. I just had to set that straight with him. I'm like, yeah, yeah you, you know, I, of course, you know, why, why pick on me? You, 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 took the words out of my mouth because i was going to ask if you ever had a like an awkward run in hashing it out with someone oh i had a couple yeah but you know that one was yeah that one it was just there's been a comment or two that um people said that don't know the truth of it that, that yeah. uh like w when uh our buddy a very very funny comedian uh, passed away uh <sighs> does the clip of me and chairman of the board he was on conan mm-hmm Norm McDonald, thank yeah, you. Yeah, he would. He said on Conan O'Brien one night. Yeah, and it's such a famous clip because he's he sets him up for it and he's he's picking on the poor Courtney Thorne Smith who's on the sh the movie. Yeah, and it was a good movie, the Chairman yeah. of the Board. Um, he's like God, and he's just going on and on about. It. So you so you you quit you quit Friends or what is it Melrose yeah, Place? Yeah. You quit Melrose Place to go into m movies with Carrot Top? She goes, No, I didn't quit. I, it was one movie, and Scott is he's the nicest guy in the world, and he's is actually a great actor. And he's like, No, but get, go back to this. So why would you go? You're, you why would you go do a movie with Carrot Top? And you have you had and she's she kept trying to defend me. She's like, It was great fun. It was a great movie, and uh, he's a sweet guy. Um. And then he's just like, I, I I just don't get it. And he wouldn't let it go. And then Norm McDonald's, he says, well, my, what was the name of the movie again? And she says, chairman of the board. And he goes, oh, board, like B-O-R-E-D. Yeah. And Conan is you know, losing his mind laughing. And again, I'm thinking, bitch, we did that on the set. Yeah. That's like, hack. We did, when we were making the movie, we called it chairman of the board. Yeah, yeah. But he thought that was the most, so everywhere I go, people say, oh my God, were you and Norm enemies because he really ripped on you i'm like no yeah. we're one we're comics and yeah. two it was a fucking joke it yeah. was and it was funny i had another comic one time that i opened for him at a uh a college and they wanted me to do 20 minutes and uh, it's at the time of my career where i i, I had about eight minutes yeah <laughs> so i said uh, and i'm not kidding you i said i got i got about eight and you got eight minutes i said about seven's good but i can stretch it to eight but you know don't it's not gonna be honest with you and they said okay they were fine with it because they didn't need to have that much time right i said do even if you just do five i said five i can do i can nail five so i uh i get up there and i'm i'm i do two two, two prop maybe three do my crime watch thing i opened with the crime watch that i was killed and then I go grab this car. It was like a, a car that was in the shape of a ramp. Mm -hmm. So if you had a head on collision, you jump it, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> and 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 I and everyone kills and I put it, yeah, this is thirty years ago. I put it down. And then I my I look over and the guy's going like, you know, wrap it up. And I'm thinking, I'm like, 
like wrap it up, like close, because I only had done less than a minute. Yeah. And he's like, no, no, like wrap. So I, I, you fuck. So I, I go to my closer, which was this paper cups and string phone. Yeah. And it was a, uh, had you know, hello, what's going on? You feel, you know, the cups and string phone. I said I made it. I made a new one for today's kids that had a call waiting in it. So I say, hold on, I have another call. Hello, and then another, <laughs> another cup would come out, and then I'd have uh, three cups and conference yeah. calling, and yeah. I had a clear cup for caller ID. I yeah, know right. it's you. I can see you. Pick yeah. up. So that was my big closer, and it killed. It killed. Yeah. And so that's when George Carlin comes to me and says, "That's funny shit right there." So I do, I do, I do that, and then the comedian comes out and he, he whispers leave your shit because i was going to move it because i didn't want him to stand you know the, he's leave your shit so i'm all right so i go into the arena and i watch the whole the whole set and he wasn't doing well and he was just he was in a bad mood and he kept he kept kind of looking down at, at my props and kind of kind of wanting to move them and scoot them and fuck with him he was kind of just doing with his foot like the fuck and finally he picks up this car and that had the ramp on it and he holds it up like it's, no one's laughing. He just holds it up and looks at the audience like, uh, yeah, this? Yeah. And then he, he, he like threw it down. He didn't like lay it down. He kind of threw it down. And the crowd was like, ooh, because they really loved me. I was yeah. young. I was probably 19. Yeah. They start to boo him. Like, like don't, don't. And he was shit. like, yeah, because he was kicking my props. And the crowd Holy was like, they're like, boo. Shit. And he's like, no, 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 no. The topper, he called me. The topper's fine. The topper. So I... I come off and I'm like, well, I was the pro, so I came off to say hi. He wouldn't say hi and he left. And about 10 years go by of him ripping on me in every show, every show. And finally, I, I'm here in LA and, and, and I was staying at this hotel and the elevator doors opened and off, I'm walking is, is this guy. No. And I said, oh my God, hey. Oh my and he was God. like, hey, Topper. And I said, no, we have to have a talk. <laughs> and he's shit. like, we do? We, we do? Oh, this will be good. I said, no, really, if you have just five minutes of your time, I need to talk to you. And he's like, you got about five. Okay, Topper, what is it? I said, I want to set the record straight. What happened? He says, I'll tell you before you tell me. We were at University of Georgia. I said, nope, we were at Wake Forest. So you're already wrong. It's Wake Forest University. And he's all right. Now what happened? You went up and did 30 minutes. I said, there you go. I did not. I did three props because I didn't even have 30 minutes. I did three props. I was supposed to do 20, 18 or something like that, but I did three. And then you started kicking everything. He says, I didn't, he remembered, I didn't kick it, babe. I, just, I said, whatever you did, you made it bad for everybody. And you turn, and then, so you owe me an apology. I think he said, let me think on it, babe. Okay. <laughs> And I sort of got it. And then I left and I was like, really? Okay. And it was, it was David Spade one day. And David Spade knows this person real well. And he yeah. comes walk on the corner and he says, hey. I said, how, how, do you, how do you know David? I said, well, David and I are friends. I said, David and I, you and I should be friends too. And I, I said, David, he's not my friend because he thinks that I went too, too long at a, a, he got the college wrong and the amount of time wrong that I did. And he thinks like that. And for, David says like, Carrot Top doesn't have five minutes. How could you think he would have? And he didn't even know me. He just said, how would Carrot Top have five minutes? And I said, right. Not even now do I have five minutes. So finally, it was, it was like a truce, I think. He said, all right, truce. And then I ended up going to a basketball game, a, a NBA basketball all-star game in mm -hmm. Vegas. And they put me in these seats. And, and um, I, w I had, the, like, the best seats in the, in the arena. I mean, literally, ESPN people were behind me. I kept, oh God, there's like, there's like, there's like ESPN guys. Yeah, and they're yeah. like, oh, sorry, I got. It. And then, who comes in, sits right behind me, my friend, and I said, <laughs> I said, this sucks, huh? <laughs> and he said, uh, he said, it's okay, babe. I said, you know, I, I, I gotta be, I gotta, I gotta know, is, is it that I'm sitting in front of you, make you more angry, or, the, or, or my hair you can't see behind, around it? And uh, he said, no. It's that my son is your biggest fan. Would you mind taking a picture with him? And I said, your son is? And he goes, yeah. And I said, oh, my God. Now, that got to be the worst part, right? He says, just take the picture. I said, it's got to make your blood boil that your son loves me. He says, my son loves Carrot Top. So I said, okay. And I did my arm around him. I said, you know, your dad hated me for years. <laughs> And he think the son is you know funny. He's his, he goes, my dad hates everybody. <laughs> dad hates me too. Don't you know get over it.